Connecting the world. Connecting the world. With, With music. 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 DJ International Radio EU. Hello, how you doing? Hi, Rocky. I had the pleasure of speaking to you once before for briefly when Antonio was in Chicago with you. And I was impressed. I'm very impressed about not only you, of course, but what you have done to promote family values in our country. Yes. It's a pleasure to be talking to you because Mr. Jolene is a dear friend and he truly speaks highly of you all the time since you have come back. Yes. So it's a pleasure for me to have an opportunity to speak with you. Well, well thank you. Um, I, uh, you know, I think that, um, you know, this is really relating to to DJs, disc jockeys, or whatever you want to call them, uh, in the clubs. And, uh, and uh, that's so close to family values that, you know, there's always different kinds of people. But uh, uh, that's the great thing about it. But DJs, for the most part, are very family-oriented. Uh, you know, some of them are a little bit more like rock stars, but... Uh, but uh, um, the family value is, is really important, and uh, uh, the whole humanitarian aspect of what DJs are doing fits right That's into with, the, with what uh, Antonio is doing. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Well, actually, I had the pleasure of working with Mr. Cellini for the past few years, and I professionally i am a humanitarian activist and also a professional motivational public speaker as well as human relation consultant. I'm also the chairman of the City of Pasadena Human Relations Commission for the past 16 years. Wow. And I've truly devoted my life, as Mr. Cellini has done, regarding improving human relations among all people. And family values is the core of a society to survive and thrive, to be vibrant without family cause and values. No nation or country can really sustain its value. And I think today, in many parts of the world, even in our country, there is a lack of family values. And that's why I'm so proud of meeting Mr. Jalini and, of course, you. And we all need to work together to have a great impact in our society to make sure that especially our young people come aboard as a team and learn about family values at a young age so they become the cornerstone of our society in the future. And that's where my stand is regarding family values. Well, there's, there's no mistake, and no matter what culture and what time you're in, the family has always been the core, whether you call it a village or whatever. And, and I think that, uh, that um, uh, like you're saying, a lot of people have uh, in, in this country have, have gotten away from family values uh, because of maybe the the economics of what's happening, the transition um, in, in the culture that's education, happening. Education, Mr. Rock, I believe education. Yeah. Well, you're absolutely right. Well, every country basically has social, economical problems, but it goes back to the roots of the family because I know, for example, in my country, I came from Iran, as Mr. Cellini did, the way parents dedicate their lives and energy and love for the children, the family unity strives and remains in all disrespect of economic and social, social problems. In this country, unfortunately, even though parents do love their children, but unfortunately, for some reason, there's no that bondage that's required to build the strength, and schools today are not impacting the parents or the students. The society as a whole is not again, doing much except the religion board, but you cannot always depend on those people, you have to depend on your own self, own family, and that's where it all starts, within the household. That the child is born as an innocent person, and what you do to teach that individual is how you mold that person, whether either good or bad, in the future of this country, any country. Uh, absolutely, and, and I really understand and, and uh, feel what you're saying is, is uh, right on point. I wanted to point out, though, that I think that uh, when you have a family that is worried about feeding itself or more conscious on the, the price of, uh, of milk, it takes away from them um, uh, being able to worry about the educational values of the child. And I, I, see, I see that happening here in the United States. I know it happens everywhere. And, uh, 
and and um, so so the support that we can get as a as a people around the world um, is really important, uh, and and. And, and that's why I think music is really important, what the DJs are doing around the world in the club. I mean, it seems like, you know, some people think it's, it's you know, what the heck is the DJ worried about uh, no. social no, 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 issues? No, music, music with all the respect is the soul of the human being, and music has such a power for youth in a profound way. Like my, my wife is a concert pianist, and she has done so much for community and society just through giving back to community through her performances, as believe it or not, every one of her students honors the community, the residential community, retirement homes, senior centers by giving their time and talent, bringing so much joy to them. But I agree with you, you have done such a marvelous job, a job through your station and as well as other DJs, because again, we should be very proud. Music is really the soul of every human being. You know that 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 that's exactly right. And and my my next point was is that you have, um, you know, DJs who get up in front of you know fifty, a hundred thousand, three hundred thousand people mixing records as a DJ at, at the festivals. And a lot, a lot of them are 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 uh, maybe um, lowering the consciousness of people rather than than uh, than predominantly raising it. And I think that, that that kind of change that we point everyone in the right direction, and, but but at the same time we point people in the right direction, DJs in, in particular, um, and and if they if they see the value of of helping themselves and helping their family, uh, they will help the world in general. But but the way that's done, in my opinion, is that it's not about preaching to the DJs, which I have a tendency to do, and I don't mean preach like a preacher, but I mean, you know, I, 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 I talk to people and I bring points up, but the real thing is, I think if everybody bases their life on ethics and family values, that will rub off into Absolutely. their entire existence, whether it's work, play, or music, or film. And uh, and 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 I think that's going to be the biggest impact by not creating a um, a, a a political movement, which a lot of people think I'm trying to do, which I'm not. Oh, no. it, it, but it's a it, it, it's an artistic expression that we all go to, and I, I I'm glad you no, feel having, that way. I, I, yeah, having heard so much positive things about you from Mr. Gelini, and having talked to you just for the past few minutes, I can really feel your compassion and your loyalty and dedication to having the values and God bless you. You should be very proud of what you're doing because you. each one of us has a tendency with our passion and compassion we have for human rights, humanity, justice, equality, family values. We need to express ourselves. Yeah. Even some people might receive it as a being a preacher, but I'm sure ultimately people who are on the same boat as we are, they will come aboard and they will understand and they, they also learn. Like I just learned so much from you just talking to you for briefly, but you need to keep the faith going. You need to move, keep the movement going because it never stops. It never stops going for one more because for 20 years now, I've been involved in Pasadena Five School District giving lectures and seminars to more than 18,000 kids on a very positive, impacted way. And I've never given up because those kids are like my own children and I instill family values in all of them. And if you go look back for those 19 years, there has not been one single act of violence from any of those classes that I've been involved. That's great. Many, many children look for role models. They lack love, affection, attention at home. So I substitute for that. And I bring and create a family. And one of the first things I say every semester to each class is, we are a family. We're going to begin to be family. We're going to end as a family. And hopefully you will keep in touch with each other for the rest of your lives and maintain what we have learned now and put into action. And you'll be surprised how these children are looking for challenges. I know. For role models, you know. I know. I, I say it like this, is we've been having role models um, in music uh, uh, from people like uh, Easy e to... Uh, to uh, uh, Little John and the, and the rap thing and people like like um, uh, no offense to Paris Hilton but she's not been a great role model uh, uh, whatever greatness she is I understand that 
but th- those aren't role models that really, and I know they weren't trying to be. They're trying to be the rock stars that they are, whatever they want to uh, identify with. But I think the time is now, and and um, that the kids are demanding something more, and they're not going to get nothing more unless they start with the basis of of, of family values and 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 the music as a DJ. Everybody, every yeah. child wants to be a DJ, and That's good. and Absolutely. and I, you know, I feel yes. The one thing that I'm really glad that you and Mr. Jolini have connected and are collaborating together because, again, profound gratitude goes to Mr. Jolini for yes. what he has done with the kid. Marvelous. I have met you now, the two of you, with more strength, more devotion, more energy, and that's what it takes, just like a chain. Yes. You need to keep adding little uh, pieces of chain together to make it a long chain on a continuous basis, but as long as every point of the chain is strong, it will never break. And that's what we need. The family values have always been the keystone, as I mentioned, of any society and community and country. And we have to maintain that. Yeah, and, and, and DJs, are, DJs um, uh, whether they know it or not, uh, uh, affect everything. And I will say this, the, that we started the DJ Hall of Fame. Mixes. Hits. Club tracks. With the main DJs from the house and electronic scene. <laughs> DJ International Radio EU. The basic uh, basis of it is is uh, excellence, dedication, ethics, and and if you translate what that really ends up meaning, it is family family values um, uh, from the very basis of it. And uh, and what I've noticed is even though we're a DJ organization, um, we've had a huge impact in the world right now, not saying, oh, well, the DJ Hall of Fame has done this and done that, but every other organization out there or, or DJ groups and all that, all of a sudden are, are um, picking up uh, the, 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 the vibe, uh, let's say, that, that we're doing, and, uh, and, and everyone in general, I'm not saying that we're the only ones, we're not, but, but by, by the voice being out there that people can hear that there's something more to it, than than uh, ego and, and and materialism, um, they they start to gravitate towards that, and and I see that gravitation expanding um, in other groups of DJs and and fans as well. So it's really important Wonderful. what you're doing. That's what, you, know, you you you're absolutely right. I think too much emphasis is placed in this country regarding material things, yes. regarding money, regarding assets and they tend to forget the basic needs of this world is really love, affection, yes. family values, peace, harmony, unity. And when you put all this together, it's worth everything in this world. If you don't have it, it doesn't matter how much money you have, how much wealth you have, if you don't have the core of a family value, then everything else we talk about. You know you know why I know this is planet. yes, you know why I know this is working? Because even the corporations, which are entities, entities is defined as something without a soul, even those corporations are using love and family values and peace as their marketing tool to sell their products, whatever their product very is. True. Very true, very true, and, very and, true. We really, we, really, we really need to get the corporate level in this country involved more and more because if you look at Mr. Gates, he gives millions and millions of dollars, like just gave fifty million dollars for Ebola, for example. Yes. And God bless. Yes. But as you indicated, we need more involvement rather than money giving. We need them not only advertise to sell the product through peace and harmony, unity, family value, but they need to actually become more activists, yes. more seeking, more training, more what? development of it. Because I I do this quite often with various companies. I go give motivational seminars. Regarding family values, regarding what my dad, I bring two subjects. I bring into every my discussion, and that's the soul and spirit and unity, because this is what we all need. Because truly, we are we are connected to spirituality and soul, and if you combine those, you'd be surprised how many people throughout the world can come together on those bases, and that's what we need to strive on more and more. Yes. And the and the essence of of uh, being a DJ is being a orchestra conductor, and it's that translation between the active commitment of people being the dancers in the clubs 
and the DJ being the conductor, mixing the music and presenting the music in a way that 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 they are uh, emotionally, spiritually elevated to them. That's what house music really is about, by the way. Absolutely, so, absolutely. God bless you, Pastor Jones, what you're doing, and all the DJs. And I'm really glad that you did meet Mr. Jamini because, as I said, he has done nothing but talk the highest about you. And today it's an honor and pleasure for me to communicate with you, and I learned a lot about you and a lot about your values. And again. God bless you for what you're doing. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting you uh, when we come out and, and be filming on the 11th. So, oh, so be my pleasure. be my pleasure with honor. I look forward to it too, sir. Yes. All right. Well, um, all right. So uh, I, I want to thank you for, for your time, and uh, I'm going to be posting this interview up there uh, uh, tomorrow. So uh, be my I'll, pleasure. I will definitely, uh, you know, let Antonio know, and I'm looking forward to meeting you. But I want to thank you and... and uh, you're welcome to come on here anytime you want. Any message you have, you know. I also want to say to the listening audiences to truly honor and work with all the DJs because, as I indicated in the inception of my talk with you, music is the soul of every human being, and that they receive it in a positive way and rejoice and rebound and feel confidence about themselves. Then they have a day or a minute, a second, whatever they choose to to give back to society and community. But more importantly, they are the ones, like soldiers, ready to go, not to war, yes. but to go out for peace and harmony. So yes. God bless all the DJs for what you are doing. And it was a pleasure, Mr. Jones, to talk to you. Yeah, it was a really great conversation. You know, as you know, Rocky, you know, uh, you come to United Nation. One of the reasons I invite you to be a first uh, DJ international at the United Nation because we have, uh, the, we are the same page. Yes. As uh, Mr. Nate ma mentioned, uh, you know, when you have a combination of your soul and uh, spiritual together, a miracle is going to happen. Yes. And remember, you have to, we are open our arm to all the music. Some of them, if we don't uh, want to say this is bad, this is bad, there's no bad existing. We have to just uh, uh, give them the value how important what you make to can affect in the all of the world. I said, because the music is universal language. This is so pure, and they can be a very, 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 very element to bring a peace, harmony, or love to all of us. Yes. I, I know our music is, is the right music because it was our music that stop the gangland violence in Chicago, even for a brief time, when there was a, a house party, all the people would come to the house party from the different gangs, they'd stop fighting so they would enjoy the music. And that's the spirit that we are, you know, moving forward with. And, uh, and, and, and that spirit is what you're doing with the Family Film Awards and, you know, the Olympia Awards. And uh, uh, I agree with you. We're, we're, everybody has, I think, the same goal in mind um and that is for for uh, for the prosperity and peace uh, and that peace meaning in harmony and and uh in the soul and uh i believe that that everyone is is wants that message to be achieved and that goal to be achieved we all have different ways of doing it and you know i'm glad i can help make a contribution with uh with dj's and uh and hopefully with uh with uh, my our films as well Yes, Chris, yes, I'm very lucky because this is Mr. Nader. He is a, a very humble, but he's been with the city council of uh, uh, Pasadena for many years. He's a speaker at the leadership of the peace, and his wife, one of the icon, musician, composer, violinist. Uh, I've been the concert at the concert, and he understands when you're talking about the value of the family, you know, and it's just a good to. We have a team, and we understand uh, it's just so important to put our uh, car together, and uh, we are uh, no question it will be an increase for our young people, for our children today, and for our children tomorrow. Yes. Well, uh, so I'm thinking 1 o'clock tomorrow, L.A. time, this will be uh, uh, on DJ International Radio. How's that sound to you? Pretty good? Sounds great. Uh, as I said to you, when you're arriving here, I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Nader. He's a one of the uh, hundred percent from uh, I, I, I'm part of you, him as I'm part of you. 
to uh, make this movement and uh, increase and bring a light and love and happiness to all of the world. And I, hear, and I think that's great. And I, I hope that he's able to uh, introduce us, our cameras and our, our radio, to some of the young aspiring DJs out there because that's how this spreads. It, it's, it is a... Uh, you know, uh, uh, it is a, what do they call it? Uh, it takes a village, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. It'd be, my, it'd be my pleasure. Let me just bring something up to your attention, Mr. Jones, which is really very apropos. If you recall, 16 years ago, when the Columbine tragedy took place, I had a meeting with City of Pasadena, and Mayor Bogart, I was in his office. When the news came to us, I was so distraught, as was the mayor, and I made a commitment to do something about it. And I started a concert called Peace Through Music, Ending Hate, Giving Hope, Bringing Joy, and Saving Our Children from Violence. And I dedicated the first concert in the memory of all the victims of the Columbine High School shooting tragedy. Yeah. And since then, that has become a cornerstone in our city. I'm doing the 16th annual on November 8th. If you're in Pasadena, it would be my honor to have you and your guests to the VIP dinner and the concert. But not only the city has received it open heartedly, but the governor's office sent his assistant seven years in a row. We have all the congressmen, senators, wow. mayor, everyone attending. And it's been a joy because of music, which is as Antonio Giannini said, is the language of love, is the universal language of speaks for love and peace and harmony. Again, it relates really to you, what you're doing, Mr. Jones, to your DJs throughout the country yes. for bringing peace, joy, and harmony through music, language of love, and universal language of peace. How wonderful is that? I, I, I mean, I'd love to, to be there with Dufflin Woe and uh, Antonio will, will, will help me uh, make sure I get there. But I just want to say this also. Pasadena is such a beautiful city. Whenever I drive by there, you know, I go through the different cities and because uh, I take that way to get to route, I think it's 15 uh, from, uh, from downtown. And, um, yes, and, and, and yeah, I drive through a lot of things. California is so beautiful. Uh, but I, whenever I drive through Pasadena, I go, wow, what a beautiful city that is. Really great city. Absolutely. Well, whenever you are here, it would be our pleasure to host you and show you many places and introduce you to the mayor, anybody else that you like, it would be our pleasure. Oh, wow. Well, I, I mean, it, that's a bet, that's a lock, and, uh, and uh, uh, here we go. We're, we're, we're definitely moving forward. All right. Well, well. Thank you very much for for your 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 passion and uh, and convictions uh, because that's what we need and uh, and anything that we can do uh, from a from a DJ standpoint or radio standpoint and also uh, you know we have our, we have our TV show so if if you have any DJs out there that wanna that have a video clip that they want on our TV show network we'd love to put that on as well. Thank you so much. You're very kind. It was a pleasure talking to you. All right. All right, my friend. Thank you talk to you about your doors and uh, talk to you soon. All right, Antonio Gellini, thank you very much for, for the introduction, and uh, I look for this tomorrow at 1 o'clock on uh, djnationaleu.com. Okay? Mixes. Hits. Club tracks. With the main DJs from the house and electronic scene. <laughs> DJ International Radio EU.